Hi, my name is Kristen Lucas, and I have the absolute privilege of leading worship here at Wiregrass Church. And I just wanted to take a minute to let you know what this next song means to me. I grew up in a Christian home with a Christian family. Um, they instilled in me the importance of having a relationship with God. Life was good, life was easy, and that all changed my freshman year of college. In 1998, my dad was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It is a neurological disease that weakens and deteriorates your muscles. There is no cure, there are no treatments, and doctors usually give you two to five years to live. So my dad sat my brother and I down to tell us about his diagnosis and all the things that the doctor had told him, and we were devastated. Um, my brother immediately became just overwhelmed with emotion, which kind of kicked in something in me as the oldest to be strong for him and be strong for the family. Um, I would say at that time in my life, doubt and fear did not just start to creep in. It came in like a wrecking ball and demolished everything that I knew and thought I believed in God um, and just led me to a place where I felt like I couldn't completely trust him. I continued to go to church, continued to pray, but it was just almost a rehearsed prayer that I said every night because I just didn't have it in me to ask God for much. I instead kind of took it upon myself and started a very unhealthy relationship with alcohol. I wanted to forget what was going on around me. I wanted to just kind of remove myself from my circumstances for a little while, and that's how I did it. And when you are taking care of someone with ALS, they eventually become paralyzed, and you are forced to do things for them that I really never thought that I would have to do for my dad. We took care of my dad for six years, and he passed away at the age of 46. Not long after that, I was sitting in the parking lot of my favorite store, the Dollar General. I'd been out the night before. I was feeling terrible. Um, and just all of a sudden, I was overwhelmed by emotion and just began sobbing. And I told God that I was tired of feeling like this and that I couldn't do it anymore and that he could have all the control back because my way was not working. And in the sweetest, most non-judgmental, kindest voice, I heard him say to my heart, I've been waiting for you. And he didn't say, I told you so, or shame on you. He just said, I've been waiting for you. In that moment, my perspective of God totally changed. And instead of seeing him as this great big God who just sits on a throne um, and does not have a personal relationship with me, I saw him as a loving father who loved every single part of me, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of me. He loves me just like I am. Through all of this, I've realized that God can carry me through all of my struggles and circumstances. Like the song says, my doubts and fears don't scare you. God truly is more loving than I could imagine, more comforting than I thought possible, and he really is bigger than I thought he was.
the Father. 